Hi guys, welcome once again to Gas Labs, and today I'm going to be looking at the MD380, or is it? Um, this one is an MD380. Okay, it's got like a, a, a cheap um, Nagoya type aerial on the top, but this one is a UV380, and a UV380 is dual band. Check that out. Two and seventy DMR radio. Best thing about it is that it's an MD three eighty shell. Same batteries, same microphone, a speaker microphone, same um, programming cable, slightly different CPS. Um, everything is the same. They've been they've kept the same antenna port fabulous none of that crazy md2017 stuff um as i say yeah the batteries are all the same so any accessories you have will, will fit i've had this now for a month and i love it i think it's brilliant um i'm hoping that it's going to become as popular as the MD380 I mean because without a shadow of a doubt if if anyone said to me um, I wanted to to get a, a DMR radio I'm just starting out um, I would just put them into an MD380 and I, I wouldn't wouldn't be worried in the slightest it's just a fabulous um, fabulous little radio and I hope um, that these are going to be as good um, there's some um, there's some lessons that uh, I think uh, TYT have learned from from the the other handhelds and uh, the MD9600 early days of, um, and I th I just hope that this is going to be uh, really really good. But the proof's in the pudding. We'll we'll see we'll see what the feedback's like, um, you know, later on. Um, but uh, yeah i think this is going to be really good um i've also got behind me i've actually got one of the anytone um, radios um similar sort of size dual band again um slightly different menu system and all that sort of stuff obviously different company um it's very good i have had some some things going on with the with the cps with the anytone um some really strange things you know when you when you um, start the, the program up it actually tries to install something completely different um, I'm not uh, I'm not convinced um, that the, the software is completely you know correct yet um, I think it has some foibles um, yeah so I, I really wanted to show you this as I say it's um, it is a bit, neat bit of kit it uses the same sort of menu system as the MD9600 um, where you you know on this one particular I'll just switch it on again it's got the typical TYT tone um, in here you've actually got if you go into say we're going to zones uh, let's go that one I do okay and you'll see that um, the, the second VFO isn't isn't programmed um, and it comes up with unprogrammed so that's the same sort of principle as the MD9600 um, yeah I, I just as I say I've had this now for, for a month and I've actually I've really loved it I just think it's just it's just brilliant anyway proofs in the eating you know put in proof of the puddings in the eating and uh, as I say we'll wait and see what uh, the, the, um, the, the more sort of DMR sort of conscious amongst you guys uh, say about that because i think that's very good right what else um catch up on the radio um obviously the board got done um prototype board what led to that um i've wound some more coils i hate winding coils um then i've started um trying to get the vfo to work and unfortunately at the moment it's it's not working as well as it should um, I will get there with it, um, but at the moment I'm just laying it out on Vero, on no, sorry, on Vero, on uh, a breadboard, just to try and get things to work. But unfortunately, at the moment, I've got a problem with values of capacitors, and um, no matter what sort of uh, 
um, you know, sort of combination I use. I can't really get the combinations that I really need. So uh, at this stage, I'm going to have to order some capacitors, I think. So I'm kind of a little bit between sort of bits and pieces. Plus the sun's come out and I'm out on my motorbike and I've got an exam next month, um, early next month. And I've really got to knuckle down now with some with some revision. And uh, I mean, those of you that know, um, know that I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm obviously uh, I'm doing lots of exams with the health and safety believe it or not um, so yeah I've got that to look forward to next month and uh, how exciting it is too um, right um, I'm going to leave it there really I think that's probably the best thing to do um, please 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 subscribe because um, as I say what it does that really is that's a real sort of vote of, uh, of confidence for me um, keep going forward I enjoy doing these videos um, I enjoy showing you, you guys stuff and uh, some of the comments I've had back have been so so positive I've had messages from people you know all over the world um, asking questions and just generally having a laugh and it's just been it's been really really good fun um, as I say there are more I have plenty more things um, lined up I mean obviously the radio project is uh, is starting to um, you know it's, it's going on to a quite an interesting phase um, and there's just there's all sorts of things coming up i mean i've got um hopefully i can i can have a look at something like the flex 64 in the future um that's uh, always nice um what else are uh, oh, there's all sorts but anyway look big give it a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't leave comments um ask questions interact i really enjoy it i i, I don't mind if you if you've got questions and stuff um absolutely fine if i don't know then somebody else will i'm sure um so that's that really so i'm going to leave it there see you all guys next time and uh thanks for watching